Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. According to reports, Professor Fan Zhuang's team at Harbin Institute of Technology successfully produced a domestically produced 13.5 nanometers EUV light source using discharge plasma technology. The light source is the core of the EUV lithography machine, and Harbin Institute of Technology's achievements are not only higher in conversion rate and smaller in size than ASML's EUV light source, but also cheaper in cost. The industry believes that this achievement will greatly promote the advent of domestic EUV lithography machines. In recent years, the United States and the West have launched a chip blockade against China, resulting in a serious chip shortage in China, affecting 169 industries such as mobile phones, automobiles, and steel, which were once forced to reduce production and stop work. In just a few years, China's semiconductor industry has made continuous technological breakthroughs in the blockade. Seeing that it was about to be caught up, ASML urgently announced that it would no longer publish specific sales data in the mainland market, which was suspected to be preparing for a secret move. Foreign media were completely dumbfounded. How can a China become stronger and stronger as it is blocked? With the development of China's electronics industry, the demand for chips is increasing. However, China can only import a large number of chips because it does not have the ability to manufacture lithography machines. Data shows that in 2022, China's annual imports of integrated circuits accounted for two-thirds of the global market, with a market value of up to 400 billion US dollars, accounting for more than 50% of the revenue of global lithography giants such as AMSL, Qualcomm, and Intel. However, Foreign companies that have made a lot of money from China are not only ungrateful, but also more arrogant. Two years ago, a Dutch engineer even said at a technology conference, even if the drawings are given to the Chinese, they can't make lithography machines. In 2018, the United States, for its own benefit, arbitrarily gathered Japan and the Netherlands to impose sanctions on China. Unexpectedly, this blockade not only failed to curb China's technological development, but accelerated China's technological awakening. Only when key technologies are in their own hands can they not be strangled. After years of research and development, Shanghai Microelectronics officially announced in 2024, 28 nanometers DUV lithography machine production technology has been broken through, now Harbin Institute of Technology has gone a step further and successfully broken through the core technology of higher-end EUV lithography machines. Once the results of HIT are fully implemented, the domestic semiconductor industry will usher in a huge turning point. China will be able to produce a large number of high-end electronic products such as CPUs and graphics cards, which will make the blockade of the United States, Japan and the Netherlands a joke. It is worth noting that in addition to the breakthroughs of HIT and Shanghai Microelectronics from zero to one, the industrialization process of domestic semiconductors from one to 1,000 is also being promoted simultaneously. According to reports, Xiaoxing, Zhejiang will invest 5 billion yuan to build a lithography machine factory, which is expected to be put into production next year, and will produce 50 to 100 lithography machines each year. Industry insiders optimistically predict that the rise of the domestic semiconductor industry has entered the sprint stage and is expected to catch up with or even surpass overseas giants such as ASML in the future. What makes the West even more wary is that China's high-tech fields such as biotechnology are also rising simultaneously. In 2024, the Chinese Academy of Sciences and Shanghai Changzheng Hospital jointly studied coenzyme I, the core factor of Lelingwei, and published double-blind clinical data. After 60 days of intervention, 40% of the subjects had improved sleep quality, 55% had improved motor function, and 70% had reduced daily fatigue. This study is about healthy aging. Previously, 
the United States and Japan have found in their research that such substances have the potential to extend healthy survival by nearly 20%, and they have subsequently firmly occupied the high ground in the field. Chinese scientists who participated in the project in the early stage were once kicked out of the Harvard research team. Now that China has taken the lead in publishing clinical data, it has immediately aroused Western vigilance. Unlike the full-scale encirclement in the field of lithography machines, the Japanese company Miyoshino withstood the pressure from the United States and took the initiative to extend the olive branch of cooperation to China. To show its sincerity, the brand directly put the star landing product Lelingwei of the million membership clubs such as Tokyo Man's Clara into JD.com with a low threshold of three digits. It is worth mentioning that in the photos of the 73-year-old real estate tycoon Wang attending a banquet in Japan, there were souvenirs similar to Lelingwei. According to the data of the 7th National Population Census, the total number of people aged 30 plus in China is about 760 million. The average life expectancy of Chinese middle-aged and elderly people with diseases is as high as 10 years. This means that healthy aging has become an urgent demand. Against this background, Lelingwei quickly accumulated tens of thousands of feedbacks after entering the Chinese market, and users generally believed that their energy, sports and other performances were better. The brand side actively expressed that it looks forward to win-win cooperation with Chinese scientists, seeking common development, and providing better scientific and technological achievements for the people of both countries. China's rise is forcing overseas countries to invite China to the table. Not only Meiji, the brand behind Lelingwei, but also ASML, which has always been afraid of pressure from the United States, has officially announced that it will no longer announce orders to China. The industry speculates that this move may pave the way for cooperation with China, so as to secretly circumvent restrictions on sales to China. The West entered the technological era earlier and achieved a series of achievements with its first mover advantage. However, they arrogantly thought that they could rest easy from then on. Once they found a rising star like China, they immediately panicked and suppressed it by any means. Fortunately, China has not been defeated. Instead, it has made great strides in the field of high-end science and technology gradually breaking the monopoly of overseas countries. The breakthrough of Harbin Institute of Technology is an important interim achievement and a clarion call for the charge. In the future, China will continue to advance towards more advanced technologies, and there will be no end to its progress.